go ahead and start the first question. Do you want to seem like in the second half you guys want a smaller lineup and they just fed you the ball and uh, isolated you? But you were in the post, is that what was going on? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, <clears throat> we uh, found out that that lineup was really working for us, uh, both defensively and offensively. And as we kept getting stops, um, they just kept feeding the ball, putting me in great positions to score. And that was the result. Terry. Zach, talk about the offensive rebound and overtime when you got it from Folsom, but then also the pass that you made to, to Juwan. Oh, yeah, just a, just a good bounce off the rim. I was able to get it, and then uh, just looking for somebody, Jamal made a good cut, I was able to finish that, so that was a good play for him. Zach, I guess to follow up on that, Juwan, what did you see, and, and just how valuable were generally were the minutes that Zach gave you guys? Um, just first of all, the, the minutes that I gave us were uh, incredible. Just <clears throat> his defense on ball, off ball, uh, I think he got like two or three uh, where he was just in the right spot for uh, helping guys a uh, few turnovers for them. Um, and then just uh, when it came off, uh, I was like, dang, I just missed it. <laughs> but then I saw that guy and, and I just ran down and I was just hoping he saw me and he did. Juwan, are you uh, to your left short right here? Are you a little bit sick? Uh, no, my voice is really deep. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the real question is, um, it looks like this team needed somebody to become what you became today. And, and so why have you, have you kind of consciously made that effort to sort of become the guy? Um, I wouldn't say I've just been constantly trying to make the effort, but just every day in practice bringing it uh, as hard as I can and just showing everybody like this is how we have to play in order to get these wins. And then just everybody on the team just follow suits and <clears throat> as we just keep going down, I think you just saw that we put together a full game and as we just keep building off of one another, I think good things will happen. Yeah. Rob, Coach said you almost won, I think he said three days this week, just mm -hmm. the finals and, and schedules. Obviously you knocked down, I think, five threes. You also played, what, 43 minutes, a lot of it guarding Matt Farrell. Just, I guess, did you feel like maybe after Louisville you got the kind of performance you wanted tonight? So, right. Well, uh, first I want to thank God for the game, um, but I think um, I try to go back to the drawing boards and see um, where I was making some of the mistakes and um, not being as aggressive as I needed to, you know, to help us. And um, I think um, today was a, a step in the right direction. Yeah. <clears throat> Robert, you, you, you obviously, remember you obviously seen Juwan ever since he's been in Indiana. What has he done to get, has gotten him to the point he can have a performance like he did today you know, 30 plus points, double digit rebounds against the top 20 team. Right. Uh, I think he just, he's, he's really playing within himself. And um, once he saw, you know, that he could do that and um, get results, I think he just got better and better and they gave him a lot of confidence. And, um, you know, we, we've been having him 100% and um, I know he'll continue to get better. What's up? Uh, Rob, you shot two of eight in the first half and then four or five in the second half. You make adjustments at, at half time to start shooting well better? Um, I just wanted to uh, stay aggressive. Um, I was giving good looks in the first half, and um, that was one of the things that um, we discussed, just you know, trying to get good shots. And um, you know, if you get those, you you eventually knock them down. Mike, you want, a lot of guys can bounce the ball forward or into a jump shot. Can you explain how you learn to bounce the ball in the post into the into a post move? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't, I don't know. Uh, just working with it as a kid, just because I was a bit, uh, growing up I was a bigger guard, so I always tried to post all the little guards, and then just as I got bigger, I guess I just kept that skill. And then we work on it every day, just remember to post, uh, driving in, and then turn our back so that way we can get the good post up, and it's just something I keep working on. Juwan, uh, Boz is a, uh, a smart guy, and established player, you know, I'm, I know it wasn't one-on-one -on -one with him all day. But, you know, did you take that as a bit of a challenge, you know, going up against him? Because he's going to present challenge. <coughs> Definitely. Um, just from the time uh, I knew we were going to play uh, Notre Dame, I just knew that he was going to come in and go put up a great fight. And then just all the coaches were telling me this uh, week while we were going through uh, film and things like that. It's like, uh, that's going to be your job. You got to you gotta take the um, challenge and you got to do something with it. <coughs> great. Um, what is your uh, most obvious skill? I mean, you scored 30, whatever you scored. What? How'd you do that? <laughs> uh, I guess just being in the right spot at the right time. Uh, I think today 
game was the first time I actually got a play to just drive it. But other than that, I was just getting off of the glass and just posting up in the middle of the floor and random possessions. And uh, when you do that, just randomly, uh, people use it already for it. And then my teammates found me. Jerry and Zach. This is for Rob or, or Juwan, but Fort Wayne comes up in 48 hours. So what do you guys remember about that last year? And I mean, <coughs> what, uh, I mean, how important of a game does that become? Uh, well, last year, um, obviously it wasn't a good feeling, and um, you never really forget, you know, what it, what it feels like to feel like that. So um, we'll definitely be prepared. Great. For you, uh, you guys came close against Duke, came close against Louisville. This game, you're down 14. You never could get the lead in the second half until overtime. What, what's the biggest area of growth in this team? Why are we able to win this game? Um, I just think we never, we never went away. And, um, you know, once we made mistakes, I don't think we consecutively uh, made the same ones. Um, it still wasn't, you know, a clean game. You always can get better, but I think the encouraging thing was we never uh, went away as far as our defense and um, down the stretch we started to execute better. Jack, a lot of people have asked you want just about kind of your offense growth, but was there anything that you trace back to that I think you would have been this summer, right? Mm -hmm. Was there anything that you could trace back to that as well, just maybe things you picked up or things you were able to learn through that experience that you've been able to kind of apply this year? Uh, definitely just seeing how different like that was the I can't with the best players in college basketball, and just seeing a, a lot of them how they played. Um, I just were, was watching whenever my team was on. I was just watching and seeing how they operated, and kind of pick up a few moves from each of them, <coughs> and I just put it in the arsenal. Okay, we got a flight to catch, so you, know, you can't drive me. <laughs> 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 That's true.